student that's talented enough to back them up, I'm going to use them every time, and I'm going to I'm going to take advantage of that. Please give EJ a round of applause. And on drums, I don't know how long we've known each other. I don't know. You've been in New York and back, and I, I, I was uh, Joey and I were in New York three weeks ago. We were sitting at Jazz at Lincoln Center, and um, Wilson, Matt Wilson, uh, my first call drummer in all of New York, he went to Wichita State University uh, years and years ago, and uh, Joni and I sit down, and it's right before the concert, and he comes over, I said, hey, I'm going to the table, and he uh, make sure you tell Kim uh, hello. So, hello. Um, uh, I don't know what, uh, what we would do without Kim. She has uh, traveled, uh, traveled the United States with us. And so please give uh, Kim Trujillo a, a round of applause. <laughs> and um, last night, um, we had a, a, a lady in the audience who had played jazz uh, piano for us for 13 years, Ramona Nicholson. We, we made her get up and play the last piece with us last night. There were tears. Yes. So I think she was a little nervous because she picked up the tempo just a little bit. <laughs> but um, unfortunately, uh, after 13 years, she decided that she wanted to spend time with her grandbabies. So. But fortunately for us, we have on staff an absolutely world-class, unbelievable piano. Uh, he's not just a piano player, he is a virtuoso. I don't know if you've heard uh, him play with the uh, Hutchinson Symphony but, uh, last year, but uh, phenomenal. And he's going to play again this year. What are you playing this year? Uh, Prokofiev this year, aren't you? Prokofiev this year. Anyway, if you break a finger, I'll, come, I'll, I'll, I'll take over for you, okay? <laughs> See, all the charts that have chord changes, just I can play those, but, I, but all, if you put notes in front of me, I can't play the piano. So. <laughs> this is Dr. Matthew Cash, which is the <laughs> We're going to start out with some Duke Ellington. Okay, some Duke Ellington.
out here on the soundboard is the guy that really, he, he's just playing a recording of this and we're lip syncing it all. And so, boy, you should see the looks I just got. You sound a whole lot better in the back of the room than you do up here. Yeah. No. Have you listened to the music? Have you heard the stuff that they listen to? Uh, the reason I say that is, can you imagine the kind of work we have to do to get them to be that patient to sing that piece? That takes a lot of self-discipline and patience to not speed that thing up and keep it right in the stock. Give them another round of applause. <laughs> On the back of your program, there's some people that are heroes here. One of them is sitting back here at the board. His name is Todd Peach. Would you please give Todd a big round of applause? Todd works. Uh, manages the store there, uh, what's that, Sparks Music. So if your clarinet reed breaks or something, you get, get it, go down and, and buy a clarinet reed. If you need an harmonica, go down and buy an harmonica from him. Uh, or whatever it takes, a, a, a clavinova. Or I, he has saved my tail in performances like so many times. I, I can't thank you enough, Todd. Uh, we also have on the back there Emmanuel Lutheran Church uh, for allowing us to use their beautiful and wonderful space. Would you please give them a round of applause? <laughs> uh, Pastor Tim, is there a, there's an organ recital when? Three o'clock tomorrow. Three o'clock. Celebrating the 30th. 25th anniversary of the pipe organ in the sanctuary. Jeff Patry, I think he was a, a alum of Nickerson High School, I believe, and then went off to St. Olaf. Uh, he, uh, he, he's an incredible organist. If you want to hear some incredible organ music tomorrow, 3 o'clock. Um, also, Reno Choral Society, I forgot to tell, uh, tell you that um, December the 6th, the 9th, December the 9th, 7 o'clock, in, in uh, the sanctuary will be nine lessons and carols that, uh, uh, that the Coral Society. Uh, I, have you caught your breath yet? Are you ready to sing the next one? Okay. Um, who else is on that thank you list back there? What's that? Roy's Barbecue. Roy's Barbecue. Um, they have helped us do this, I can't even tell you how many years. I've... I've been teaching at the college for 81 years, and so I, they've done that for most of them. And I thought that there was a fourth one on there. What? Dana. Oh, Dana Sneedy, yeah. Dana uh, is a new position in uh, the Alumni Association office. Her daughter is uh, alumni of Badenage several years ago. And she comes in and does all the table settings and everything. She's not here, I don't think. Uh, but we thank her very much. Let's do some Frank Sinatra, right? I've got you under my skin. Thank you. 
earlier, but if you need to get up and walk around or get a drink or use the restroom, don't feel, I, uh, this is not a concert hall. I want them to get used to the idea that if they were singing at a jazz club, you would get up and walk around. And, so if you need to do that, you just go right ahead. If, if you want to stand in the back, you want to get a drink, whatever. Um, and I apologize because of the sound thing at the beginning, we're running just a little bit late, but I'll try to, I'll try to say less words. This is the Macarena, right? No, this, this masquerade, this masquerade. I was going to get up and dance. That's <laughs> all. Is it? Macarena. 